Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to update the software on your iPhone using your Mac computer. So before we begin, you just want to go to the top left, click on the Apple logo, then click on About This Mac. For the first step, if you're running macOS Catalina or later, you want to open up the Find application. If you're running macOS Mojave and older, you want to open up iTunes. So once you've opened up Finder, uh, on the newer Mac firmwares or iTunes on the older Mac firmwares, the next step is you need to plug in your iPhone to the Mac computer. So in my situation, I have a newer Mac and so my uh, cable does not plug in, right? I have USB type C ports and my cable is USB type A. If you're in the same situation as me, you will need to get a USB type C to USB type A adapter. Uh, if you don't have one yet, I recommend you check out the one I have left in the description. It's the same one I'm using and it's actually pretty good. So once you have plugged in your device, you'll get this message here, trust this computer. Just tap on trust. If you have a passcode, you'll be asked to enter in that passcode. Now, once you've done that, on iTunes, around here, you should see an iPhone icon, but on Finder, you should see locations and then your device. You just wanna click on this one and then click on trust and give it a little bit and now you should be brought to this page. Now, sometimes your device will do an automatic backup. If that's the case, you'll need to wait for that to complete before you go to the next step, because you're gonna see here, check for update. You're gonna click on this one and give it a little bit and you see here, a new iPhone software version 15.2, at the time uh, when you're watching this video, this will be different, is available for your iPhone. Would you like to download it and update your iPhone now? And you have the option, download and update or download only. So let's say I click on download and update, we'll download the software and then update and it'll be good to go. Otherwise you just click on download only. Now the problem with this is sometimes if your internet's a bit unstable and the download fails, you'll basically have to re-download the firmware again, try again, it's a bit tedious. So here is how to manually update your device. And in order to do this, you just need to open up the web browser of choice and then we'll just go to a new page and I will leave the, um, the link in the description is ipsw.me just go to this page right here ipsw.me and you just need to select your device so uh, iphone and then iphone 10 and you can see here sign ipsw you just want to select the firmware here click on this and then the download and then just give it a little bit and then wait for this firmware to complete once this is downloaded you can manually select this firmware you do this by opening up finder or itunes again select your device and then what you see here update you just want to hold down the option key and then left click update just like this and it'll bring you to this page you just want to find that firmware file select it and then it will allow you to download that specific firmware so really that's everything uh to it hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye